yeah. I don't play that shit. Y'all gonna see me in the flesh and in the fucking real. I do not play that shit. You see that hole in the motherfucking ceiling right there? That's the first shot. The second one I won't fucking must. I promise you. Try me. I won't I won't muss. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I won't muss. I will not fucking muss. I won't muss at all. I will not muss. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You think I give a fuck? I don't care. Get the fuck off of me. I don't care. Let all you motherfucking hoes know you in a motherfucking relationship now. Now. Let them know. Five. Four. Are you in a relationship now? No, look at the camera. You in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship? Right. Your life is on the line at this point, baby. You think I play? I ain't playing with you at all. I'm not playing with you. At all, honey. You risk a lot? I risk a lot. I ain't playing with you. Okay? We clear? We clear? Thank you. My pole is nice. Y'all like that? I do love tricks. Now and again. Yeah. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. To hit you with a video right upside your damn head. Anyway, y'all weren't expecting that one, huh? Now, this right here is going to be grown folks tall. This is not Thursday Thursdays. And no, I did not forget about Thursday Thursdays last week. Just the fact that due to the fact I have a lot of other things going on, I couldn't make Thursday Thursday last week. And I was going to save this video to this Thursday, but by then there'd be some more shit coming out by then. So anyway, what I need you all to do, since it's grown folks talk, I need you all to get those sweet, precious kids out the room right now. For those of you who say your babies ain't bad, well, get they good ass out the room right now and for those who know your kids bad get they bad ass out the room right now for us grown folks can have a quick dialogue about why this guy continue to stay with this woman and what should be done if you fellas if you find yourself in a position and women also like this because some of y'all guys be nutting up just like some of you women be nutting up no pun intended get the kids out the room Okay, hopefully the kids out the room by now. If they're not, you know the old saying, yes, yeah, somebody already said it. You're too quick. Tough. Double D. And if you don't have no double Ds today, sorry, you all going to be mad. But the lowest we can go today is a C. I'm sorry. Don't don't be emailing me talking about Trey, what, what you got against the B and the A's and the mosquito bites. Don't be sending me no IG DM talking about Trey, what's up with the B's and A's and the mosquito bites today? You ain't loving on us? Hell no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. But anyway, fellas. Let me talk to you now. Look, if you got a woman like this woman right here, now I don't know what city this came out of. It's out of Los Angeles, Chicago, Baltimore. Big shout to everybody in Baltimore. Or Detroit. I don't think there's Detroit. Or New York. It got to be one of them. I'm leaning more toward New York because that accent. But anyway, if you find yourself trapped, caught up in the middle of a two-way love affair like this, you got to Find your way out, because I'm telling you this right here. Look, don't no man need to have some trick busting off shots around him. And what I mean about that is how this woman decide to carry things. And why, why, why? Like Johnny Gill said, my, my, my. Why do women feel the need in guys to upload every damn thing to social media? Some shit you should keep off of social media. And here she is up here with this pea shooter. I don't know if that's a pea shooter, but it sounds like a damn 9mm or a Glock 17. You don't want to get hit with one of those. And man, if you got a chick, got a camera, and she decided to upload social media and basically telling you, uh, tell them I'm your girlfriend, I would have been shot up. It wouldn't be no more Trey King show. It wouldn't have been no more YouTube, YouTube. It wouldn't have been none of that. i like, well, bitch, you might well gonna kill me now. You know you ain't my woman. <coughs> Next thing you know, that would have been my ass because I'm not gonna lie. You feel me? I would not tell a lie. Cross my heart, hope to die. Anyway, not hope to die, really. But fellas, that's why you got to have your own. Some of you all going to get mad, but don't get mad. Just consider it constructive criticism, if you will. You got to have your own pad. You got to have your own spot. You got to have your own lily pad. When you look out there on a pond, we're going to just use a pond as a, as a metaphor for a house, for land. 
you see only one frog at a time on a lily pad. The only way two of them on there, they doing it. But once they get done doing it and doing it well, like LL Cool J said, the other one jump their ass off with his male or female and go back to their lily pad. So what I'm trying to say is this. See, when you got your own lily pad, your own pad, a.k.a. your house, you ain't got to put up with this type of shit. As soon as she get the nothing up, you just point right to that door and say, get just like that. You got to say it like that. You got to say it like you mean it. See, some of you guys, and don't take it the wrong way. Don't take it the wrong way, fellas. You know what I'm saying? We got to stay together. It's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to get that money for the rent. But what I'm trying to say is also is this. See, when you got your own pad, your own shit, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to put up with nothing. So you can look and tell that this is that woman apartment or house. It look like a damn apartment. And who in the hell put a damn stripper pole in the damn bedroom. That's what I want to know. If you look back at the back, you see a whole stripper pole back there. And you might be saying, I bet it smell like nothing but ass and the elbows up in that damn room. You ever looked at a room and it just looked like it stank? Or is that me right there? And also, if you're going to sit up in here and try to clown a guy and make him claim you as, you know what I'm saying, as you the girlfriend, shouldn't you fix your hair up first? Women, you got to stop making these videos and putting guys on blast just because he don't want your ass and just because you don't have too much class. Comb your hair first. Ain't nothing wrong with combing your hair. Go in that bathroom and do like they used to do back in the day when you ran out of mousse, when you ran out of hair gel. Get some H2O, some aqua, like Jose used to say, and get some water and just slide it over them bees. And if you ain't got too much hair, just put a cap on. But anything that coming up here looking like a damn rooster, you feel what I'm saying? She wrong for that. And this guy, he's sitting over there just shook his head. She like she done went out there and done found a young ass uh, Jada Kiss and big shout out to my homie Jada Kiss. Like she went out there, and got an 18 year old Jada Kiss sitting on the bed, and you can look and tell this guy younger than her because ain't no grown ass man unless you need a place to stay that bad. And fellas, what I'm trying to tell you this right here: if you need a place to stay that bad, your women checking you like this, man, you better go look in the mirror and try to find you a job tomorrow. If you got a job, save up your money, and if she taking your money, put back some more. Go get a, a side job or a side hustle, as long as it's legal, and get your ass up out of there because sooner or later she gonna bust a cap. In the middle of your ass. You feel me? Now, what I advise you all to do the risk right here. Stop playing games with people. But some people are just loony. I had a chick like this before. Remember I told you about the one that, well, I had a couple of them like that. But I'm not attracted to them type no more. You, they still attracted to me, but I'm not attracted to them. Because shit, damn that. You know what I'm saying? And also, this may be true. Maybe this is the reason why I was so attracted. Because I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell a feel. You feel me? I'm not going to share the tear also. I think... Really, crazy people have the best sex. I'm I'm serious. Like, I ain't talking about crazy for like, you know, like this. But I mean crazy far as, you know, they kind of off in a way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people might say, well, Trey, you off in a way too. I know you got some good wood. Hell, I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm, I ain't too proud not to say I don't. But you got to be careful with that because everything that look good for you ain't good for you. But if you got somebody raising hell and it don't look like y'all standing in a big mansion. I'm not going to put up with that shit. You see what I'm saying? Look around my damn room. You feel what I'm saying? Look around my office. I'm not going to sit there and put up with that. See, when you got your own, like that old New Orleans song, I'm so glad I'm, I got my own. I ain't worried about Josephine. See, when you ain't worried about Josephine, you can bunny hop and do your thing all night long, and they can't do shit to you. You can dance all night long like you're lying or it. But when you stand up under somebody else's roof, guess what? You got to go by their rules. And guess what? When they tell you to get your ass out, guess what you got to do? You got to get out because, because you're not man enough. See, a man would take control. A man would tell her, sit your ass down. You ain't finna sit up here and try to clown me, not on this internet. But see, when they look at you as a boy and you ain't standing up like a man, they're going to treat you any kind of way. And the women in the comment section are telling you, if they tell you a different shit, oh, well. You know, that's on them. A lot of them may be lonely. But this is what I'm trying to tell you right now. See, people in this day and age, they try to force you into being with them. If you don't want to be with somebody, don't be with somebody. They try to put ultimatums on you. Like, if I give you some coochie, you're going you gonna to be my boyfriend? Oh, if I suck that thing, you know you're going to be my man, huh? You know we together. How, how the hell we together just because we had sex? That's what I don't understand. You know, grown folks need to talk as grown people. And if you got to sit up here and force somebody to be with your ass, that says a lot about you as a person because I'm not going to force nobody to be with me. If anything, I'll force them away from it because I get tired. You know, I get tired of arguing. They come a point in your life. One day, you're going to get tired. You're going to say, you know what? Fuck this bitch. And you might go off on her. You might just try to go get your own. But before you do that, don't go off on them because I don't condone men beating women, even though I feel sometimes 
Some of them need their ass tore out the frame, which some of you all say the same thing. And some of you all know you need your ass tore out the frame. But, you know, it's hard to please certain women, if you know what I mean. You know, it don't matter if they white. It don't matter if they black. It don't matter if they ping, German, Asian, what the hell ever. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like a box of chocolates every day. You never know what you're going to get. One day is this way. One day is that way. You feel me? That's why you, be, you see me. I'm the same way every day. But ain't no heifer finna come and wave no gun and say, y'all see Trey right here? Trey, you better tell him I'm your girlfriend or I'm going to shoot the shit out your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know you're going to bruise easy with your light-skinned ass. You tell him. And I'm going to be sitting there looking just like this. Next thing you know, that's going to be my ass because I'm not going to say a damn thing. Only thing I'm going to say is this right here. You might well pull that trigger. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to have my fingers crossed. I might be scared, but boy, I'm going to hold my nuts, though. I'm going to hold my nuts. And fellas, you all should do the same. Get your own. Stop laying up with these women and they dogging your ass out on social media. Because what type of man going to have a damn scripper pole in his bedroom unless he rocks that way, unless he a little sweet on the wrong, sweet as bear meat? That's all I want to know. Let me know what you all think about this damn video because, fellas, we got to get it together in 2019. Here we is almost in the... Middle of 2019, and we still got these women, got some of you guys under control. Let me know what you all think about this situation. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It definitely share this video with your family and friends and coworkers who you know stand up under another woman's roof and she running the shit out of his ass. You know when your boy can't do shit. Man, she said I got to be home by 10 o'clock, man. <laughs> and we ain't talking about at night. We talking about in the morning. But you got to be at home at 10 a.m. for Oh, man, she said I stayed out too too, too long. Damn, in the morning? Anyway, fellas, you got to get it together. And, and whoever this guy is, leave this crazy-ass woman alone. It's a reason why this hell for long right here. You can look and tell when they crazy. And a lot of them going to be mad at me. A lot of them going to email me, Trey. Are you talking about me? If you have to ask me that, well, shit, maybe I am.